Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about choosing a net. When you're trying to decide what net you want, you might want to consider where you fish first, right? And the size of fish. These are tools, they're mechanical advantage. That's what they're here for. So, for example, I like this is the net that uh, when I use a net, this is the net I use. It's about the length. And that changed though, because this net was built for me by Dave Ellis back in Michigan. In Michigan, I had very little fast water. And I had a lot of water that I waded in, say, knee deep. So there's, that's a part of the equation, believe it or not. My water was pretty soft. And most of the time, my fish were coming in and they're right here, right? So it was very easy for me to have a traditional length net. It's very easy for me to scoop a fish just like that. It's, you know, I can bring it to my feet real easily. Mostly I'm in water up to my knees or deeper. And it's not really fast. And so then I moved to Montana and the nets, this one's got a little bit longer handle, but the key out here is the water's ripping. A lot of the water out here is fast. So this whole idea of grabbing the net and getting it right to your feet really easily is a little bit more difficult because of the fast speed of the water. And maybe you're gonna have to you know, get into stuff and get around rocks and things like that. And in that case, I'm gonna want a little bit longer handled net. So something maybe like this, these are pretty close but I've got a longer handle on it, which allows me to get to the fish safely. Mostly it's for you, so you're not tripping over rocks trying to get out there. So that's one thing to consider. And then it's just a matter of carrying it. How are you gonna carry the net, right? And so this one's mine, that, and, and, and honestly, I don't use a net that often, but when I do, I'm, I'm gonna match it to the water condition. And first and foremost, if you're in a boat, you need a net. Don't ever go in a boat without a net. You're just going to beat the hell out of the fish. But if you're walking around and you know maybe you're just a Spring Creek person or maybe you're the Madison River or something fast, that's going to tell you what size handle you want. So if you look at this, and there's several styles of nets out there. These are just two that, you know, this is the rising in the fish pond. These are our two most, the best selling nets we've ever had. In the old days, everything was the wood net, right? kind of taking a back seat. A lot of guys buy these and gals buy these for the, the, the fact that they're pretty. I mean, they're light, they're really light, they're pretty. They're not that expensive anymore. You know, you can buy these nets for under hundred bucks. The other ones are gonna be 120, you know, up to 200 and some. But back to the nets themselves. So you got virtues to each, right? This one's a aluminum net, this is a graphite net. This one floats, this one sinks. So when you drop this one, you can see it going down the river. This one will drop and sink and you can see it on the bottom. I don't know which one's better, but they're just kind of American made, the rising, really cool. And, and I'll walk you through a couple things about this. One, the net's really easy to replace, real easy, undo it, pull it out, thread it around, super easy. Almost all of them now are rubber nets. You know, it's a People think it's a little easier on the fish. I'm not sure about that, but you know, and, and, and just as nets go, just let me, one thing about this whole easy on the fish thing. I fish a linen bag. I don't think there's any difference, but I don't scoop my fish and hold it in the air. A net is designed to scoop it, especially nowadays where everybody's catch and release, right? And so you scoop the fish and then you just hold it so his head's in the bag, but not He's not running around in the bag. He's not all over it. It's just in here till you can take the hook out of the fish. And just don't pick them up and fling them in the boat and do all this stuff. That's when you start, you know, knocking mucus off, all that stuff. But back to the net itself. So this one's real easy. You can, you can exchange the net. Almost all these nets have little measure tools on them. You'll see they've got little numbers in the back and they'll tell you how long the net is. They go up here where whatever. Not really a big deal. People always want to say it was the length of my net anyway. The other thing about this net, it's got this little flask on the end of it. So if you want to take a shooter, but that also has another function and they got, so you can do extensions on these. So if you've got, for example, you want one net, you want to walk with the net. The rising's got a great feature here with this cap so you can have a little flask in it, but it's also so you can change it out. Suddenly you have a boat net, right? If you want a longer, you want the shorter net, you want to make it a boat net, add that extension to it. 
So that, and back to why you have the net and what you're trying to buy it for. So this is basically your trout net, right? Kind of the basically the same size as this and your woody, just a little bit wider, right? Just a little bit wider. Still got the nice deep, the bow on the net. And so you can get a, you can get a two foot fish in there pretty easily. Then you start looking at the other things that come onto it. You're in fast water. If you're a guide, you know, if you're gonna walk weight guide, absolutely you want the longest handle you can get. A little bit more of a problem for carrying them, but it's a better net for you because you can, you got clients, you gotta get the fish. And then if you get into the fast water thing, I would never have a short handle net no matter what. This would be about as short as I would go. The only problem you've got with these is how you're gonna carry them. You get into the longer nets, if you're guiding, you already figured that out. But if you're on a walk trip, you're just doing it yourself, you're probably not going to do the, the net release style net. You'll probably end up with something like the fish pond deal where you, the belts where you stick them in the back, or you're going to be doing your fanny pack or whatever. You'll, you'll find a way to carry it, but you're not fishing with your guidance. It doesn't matter. At least you shouldn't be. And so, and that's just adapting too. You know, some water, believe it or not, like on the Henry's Fork, which is a really slow water, right? It's just placid, and but it's got lots of weed beds in it, right? So like, or out, out east, you got a lot of weed beds, moss beds, and stuff like that. The longer net, you get close to it, you skid the fish's head up and you can reach. That gives you a lot of mechanical advantage. That's what this is supposed to be. A mechanical advantage to get you to the fish's head slide them into it and be done with it. The Euro nymph guys and gals and the trout spay people, the one thing that when you're using longer rods, people do like to have a longer handle because the length of the rod's got such a curve to it, it's sometimes hard to get right to the fish, right? Traditional spay, you get it backwards, you grab your line and bring it in. That's one way to do it, but that's not a net situation. So. When you're looking at, if you're a Euro nympher or you're a trout spay fisher, it doesn't, and it really behooves you to have a longer handled neck because you're gonna have that rod bent, you know, you're bent over like this and you've got this giant arc. You might have a 10, 12, 13 foot arc up there. And it really is a lot easier to get to your fish with the longer handle net. I personally think we've got a little bit of a compensation because you know, people say, well, that's not big enough for my fish. Well, I, I don't know about that. You can get a pretty damn big fish in this little net. And then you ask yourself how often you're throwing two foot fish in the net. So if you're doing that frequently, you're probably not watching this video anyway. But that's a huge net right there. You can get a lot of fish. But remember, you're trying not to bend the fish completely over. You're just trying to hold the fish. You don't want them bent up and all the way through here like that. You'd like the fish to be able to kind of relax in the net while you take the fly out and just let the fish and let them go. The less you touch them, the better. Hope you like it. Hope it helps you out.